What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. How about a 2004 Buick Century? It's a hail damage car with super low miles, 110,000 miles. It's got good tires all the way around, but it's hail damaged. And I'm here to tell you, it may not be a fantastic car. It definitely isn't gonna get any attention when you're driving around. It's a very plain Jane, basic automobile but i've had a bunch of these and generally speaking they've been very reliable and extremely budget friendly cars this one right here with all the hail damage it's probably not going to go for anything i would be surprised if this car brings more than 500 bucks at the auction let's take a look at the interior um it is it is a bright white and that helps with the hail damage it well, this car's got a lot of it, but it does help with the hail damage. It makes it look a little less severe, but this car has got pretty extensive hail damage. We have very little sun out today. As you can see, it's very cloudy and a little bit rainy. So seeing hail damage may be a little bit more difficult for you guys watching. Let's see if it, oh wow, I didn't even see from the outside. The windshield is shattered. It's got a bunch of keys. So let's just pick one and throw it in the ignition and oh, it's got power too. It fired right up. <laughs> of course it did. Let's turn that AC down a little bit. For once, we don't need the air conditioning. I definitely want to know if it works, but, but we don't need AC today. It is a nice, nice day. 115,000 miles, low washer fluid and trunk door are the only lights on goes right into gear. I'll bet this car drives great. I, I, I guarantee you. So you're going to need a windshield, you know, depending on where you go. I can get one for about $150 to $180 installed. Important window works. Less important window also works. Brakes feel great. Steering feels good. Lights. Appears that everything's working. Signals. Also working. Air conditioning is ice cold. I'm telling you right now, I'm <laughs> I'm half tempted. I have I have no use for a a hail damage. Saturday, yeah, a car like this. Let's check the trunk. Let's pop the hood. I guarantee you, this thing will run and drive down the road just fine. It'll probably give you years of trouble-free service. You got some floor mats in the back, a mask, some hand sanitizer, some lotion, and a chocolate lollipop. Hell, I might buy it just for the chocolate lollipop. It's not a bad looking car, guys. If you can, oh, I don't know what happened to the, I don't know what happened there. There you go. That's gonna need to be addressed. I, I think that arm may be stripped out. Good old 3100 sequential fuel injection V6. Great motor, notorious for a few common problems like lower intake manifold gasket failure that presents itself as a blown head gasket. You wouldn't know better if you just, you know, never dealt with it before. I've dealt with a million of these in my day and I almost always get them with milkshake in the oil. However, this looks really good. This looks really good. Everything under here is very, very clean. It's got recent spark plug wires, probably recent plugs. Looks like somebody did the manifold gaskets. What happens is usually either on this side or that side on the very bottom corner, it pops and it starts leaking coolant into the oil uh, valley down there and then you get a milkshake and before you know it you're overheating because you don't have enough coolant and eventually it'll just destroy the engine and it absolutely will eventually blow the head gasket from overheating it too much but this thing looks like it is in excellent condition this is one that'll last a long time guys you can tell this was well cared for look at this alternator looks like it might have been replaced and it's an AC Delco unit this is a car that somebody, at least at one point, really, really loved. It may not be pretty. It's not going to get you a lot of attention. But maybe that's a good thing, you know? Sometimes it's good not to draw attention to yourself. 
This is a great car. Rev it up. It sounds great. It does. It sounds great. Look, you even get dual zone climate control, really. Looks like it was a smoker's car. Oh, there's a key fob in here. Look at that. And it works. That's disgusting. It's kind of gross in here, but you know, a good cleaning and a windshield and this car would be nice. Classic Lawton Chevy. They were maintaining it at the Chevrolet dealership. It was due in, this was uh, due back October 26th of 23 or 119,000 miles. They were maintaining it at the Chevy dealership. An old Buick was receiving the dealership treatment. Insane. I love this car. I'm gonna put it on my watch list just because. Well, I was absolutely wrong about that little Buick. I thought for sure it wouldn't bring more than 500 bucks. It's already at $1,125 and the auction is still a day away. So needless to say, I'm out on that one, guys. Uh, it's a great car. I'm not saying it's not worth it, but 1,100 bucks plus fees, you're probably looking at at least $1,500, $1,600 for that. There's no way I'm gonna pay that for a 2004 Buick. But we do have in front of us a 2012 Toyota Tundra. It is a four x four. It's got the full four doors, fender flares, big tires, lift kit. It's got custom light bars and a custom grill. It's a nice looking truck other than the hail damage. Yep, I told you, hail damage is just gonna be a thing we gotta deal with out here for a while. This is really a nice looking truck, or at least it was a nice looking truck. I'd still drive it. I'd still drive it, but it does have pretty extensive hail damage to the driver's side. Passenger side looks pretty good though. The tires, well, they're really cracked and they're pretty worn. Those are big tires. Good night. What's 37 by 12 and a half 20s? 37s. They we're not messing around. Those, those are massive massive tires and then uh you got some aftermarket suspension components of course king off-road racing shocks a little bit of damage to the front bumper there i mean overall it's still a good looking truck it just it looks like somebody spent a lot of money on it at one point and then somebody else got it and they just didn't take very good care of it the interior looks good look at that i like that Looks like those were hydro dipped. I'll bet this thing fires right up. It immediately needs tires. Like if nothing else, it immediately needs tires. Oh yeah, that's a lot of detail. I like that. I do, that's unique, I like that. Let's put the key in it. Let's see what it does. Hold on, first, you guys gotta tell me what this means. A backup tornado? What is that? light bar and a tornado okay well uh-oh there we go it's only got 62,000 miles on the odometer oh it sounds good it's out of gas oil pressure is good we have something's going on with the 4x4 <laughs> I don't know if you can see it but it's bouncing between high low high low high low high low high low high low um we got some lights we've got traction control check engine brake light four high four low fuel washer fluid abs and tps <laughs> like i said it almost seems like somebody uh at one point took really good care of it and then somebody else just kind of drove it okay well we got a trailer breakdown here too that's nice, but what is, what is this? It just says backup with an exclamation mark. I don't know. We got a backup camera, which is really nice. All right, backwards, forwards. I've got the, no matter what I put this on though, it doesn't seem to, to do anything. We'll have to get out and take a look guys. Important window, uh oh. Well, there we go. It's trying to fall in the door there. It does work. And less important window. 
It also works. Air conditioning is ice cold. Brakes feel good. Steering, surprisingly, with those ginormous tires, feels great. It's not a bad looking truck. 65,000 miles on a 2012 Tundra. This thing's going to go for some money, guys. Uh, that's, that's no joke. This is going to go for some, some serious money. It's got some serious parts on it, but it does need a little bit of work. And it is hail damaged. Hell, I'd tow with this. I would. Let me pop that hood. I forgot all about it. I want to see what's going on under there. Maybe we got some aftermarket performance parts under the hood. Probably not. Um, I turned on the light bar and it doesn't seem to work. What is this? Is this how you open the hood? Okay. Yeah, that's how you open the hood. It's a piece of rope. Oh, they put LED lights under the hood. That's different. <laughs> right there. An LED light strip. You got an American flag. It, whoa. Hey. <laughs> okay. Another American flag. Well, it, do, it does run nice. It does. I'm going to drop this hood back down. Let's open the tailgate real quick. Yeah, I don't see anything on the back. It's got to be something with these backup lights here, but none of the lights seem to work. Oh, a soft open tailgate. That's really nice. You got a spool of welding wire back there for free. And, you know, this is a nice truck, really. Should have a seven pin and a four pin. There's your four, and there's your seven. Yeah, this thing would tow, no problem. Needs a little bit of work. Not exactly the prettiest truck on the road, but with that said, who cares, man? Uh, the problem I have with these, and I, I want to be very clear because people think that I don't like Toyotas. It's not that I don't like Toyotas. Uh, that's got nothing. I like Toyotas. I do. The problem is, is they go for more money than most other vehicles go for. Whether it's a truck, a car, an SUV, Toyotas just go for a lot of money. Why? Because they're super reliable and everybody knows it. Myself included. These are great vehicles. All of them. They make wonderful vehicles. I think they're kind of boring. This one is kind of an exception because somebody went and spent a lot of time and money making it look really awesome. But it's not that I don't like Toyotas. It's just that I find them kind of boring, overpriced, and that's just my opinion. No, I'm not going to show this Raptor again. I already showed it once. My fiance said, this is not a good idea. This is a very bad idea for me, and I know she's right. So I did the right thing, and I bid on another Raptor. Instead of a 2014, I bid on a 2012. And this is a Roush Raptor, all right? I bid on a regular Raptor, a regular 6.2 for way, way cheaper than this one's going to go for. It's also got way, way more miles. And if they give it to me, great, but they probably won't because I only bid $12,500 on a clean title Raptor that should be worth like $21,000. But you never know. If you don't put the bid in, you just don't know if they're going to accept it. So that could be coming to the channel soon, guys. We might have a raptor coming to the channel in the near future so stay tuned for that i thought it would be great for a tow rig right a raptor yeah it's just like having a trx it gets like zero miles per gallon it's perfect with that said the 6.2 is kind of a bulletproof engine it's definitely one of ford's best engines in my opinion solid reliable fuel hog, lots of horsepower and torque. It's got everything you want. Now, I showed this in a previous video, but I want to show it one more time. I am very interested in this 2016 F-150 theft recovery. Stolen. Another one. And I figure the first one went pretty well, so we ought to do it again. This is an Oklahoma edition truck. Again, with no wheels and tires, it's got no keys, so you absolutely know nothing about this truck. Um, other than, it has been sitting for a long time, and it almost looks like it was underneath mud. Like, I don't know how to explain it, and I never did look at the top, but let's see if we can look up here real quick. You see, it's got, it's just got mud 
everywhere on top of it. Mud clogging up the vents and the rotors. Mud all over the leaf springs. It looks like this thing sat underwater. That's what it looks like. I, I, I don't understand it. I can't explain it, but this thing has been sitting for, for quite a while. Now the interior, on the other hand, it's got a lot of mud in it, but it doesn't smell like mold or mildew or anything. There's no sign of water intrusion into the cab. Not that I can see anyway. I mean, the floor is dirty. There's dust and dirt on the seats. I just, I don't know. I really don't know, guys. Um, comment below. I, <laughs> that's all I can say. Comment below and tell me what you think. I'm really interested in bringing this to the channel. Take a look at all the mud under here. You know what I mean? I mean, everywhere. And when you pop the hood, it's the same thing under the hood. There's just mud and dirt all over the engine and spider webs. Like it has been sitting for a long time. And I think this would be a lot of fun to bring to the channel because we don't know anything about it. It has no keys. There's no bigger risk than buying something like this. Now, I know you guys are getting tired of trucks, so I'm not going to make this video or hopefully any of my next walk around videos specifically about trucks. But you got to remember, this is Oklahoma and we have a lot of trucks here. So trucks are going to pop up, but I'm going to try my best to find a nice selection of cars and trucks and I don't know, maybe an SUV or two. Not really into SUVs, but I wanted to look at this one because the damage doesn't look that bad. The doors got a little damage. This bedside took a little damage, but it's nothing, nothing too serious. Somebody put some aftermarket sticker, wood looking sticker overlays on everything. They took out the whole top of the dashboard, which honestly looks better than a completely busted up dash. The seats, yeah, it's, it's, a little rough but i don't know it's a it's a good old 57 hemi man 2003 says it runs and dries it's a pedal it's from fort sill oklahoma this is definitely somebody's work truck for sure uh mm, i don't know guys i uh i don't know <laughs> let's pop the hood this one's this one's kind of rough. I didn't even see what the mileage was on this. Does it say? No, it says nothing. So maybe the mileage doesn't work. Uh oh. Oh no. No 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 no. Come on. There we go. The hood was stuck. Oh. And the hood shocks don't work. Well. It's even got an interstate battery too. It actually looks pretty good under here, guys. It's got coolant. The hood weighs about a thousand pounds. So that's a... Oh, that sounds really bad. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Uh, the headlight is falling out. Someone had tape holding it in. It looks like it's got good tires, aftermarket wheels. It's got the smaller back doors. It is so rough though. Let's see if it's got any power. Of course not. Of course it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? Cat skins, leather interior. I'm... I hate to walk away from a truck that could be a decent truck, but th this is just so rough, guys. This is, this is way rougher than what I'm looking for, so I think we'll pass on it. Here we got a 2014 Chevy Silverado. 180 some thousand miles z71 actually looks to be in pretty good shape i can already tell the tires are worn at least in the back oh hold on <laughs> well there goes that i didn't see that coming okay well wow yeah i'm gonna say there's frame damage there guys oh boy look at this i didn't see that either I got a nasty habit, guys. It's a really bad habit of uh, seeing vehicles run through the auction, you know, as they go through, and I just bid on them, right? And uh, sometimes it goes well, and other times I end up with something like this where you thought it looked good in the pictures, 
and then you realize that uh, he didn't look at all the photos because you were in a hurry and you end up with something like this oh 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 wow hmm that's uh that's <laughs> i don't know what that is whatever it is i don't want anything to do with it now here's something you just don't see anymore i miss these man I miss these. It's an old Pontiac Grand Prix with the 3800. It's the two-door. It's a 97. I love these cars. I always have. It's uh, here for what? I don't know. Unless it's smashed on the other side. It's not. So, why is it here? It looks like it's been parked a very long time. You could heat that up and re-adhere that to the door and that would be fine yeah i don't know why this is here this is bent very strange let's pop the hood and see what's going on under here these 3800s just never die they really don't oh man these are good motors with the exception they had one one problem um the intake manifolds would occasionally explode yeah, there was... I can't remember what the problem was. Maybe it was a stuck injector or... Yeah, I don't remember what it was. But there was something with these where it would... Oh, there's a snake skin. Oh, hell no. Uh... Anyway, I had it happen to me once. There's actually a recall from Chevrolet, Pontiac, Buick, GMC on these engines because too much fuel, I guess, would be left in the intake manifold when you shut the car off. And then when you'd go to start it up the next day, it would explode. Literally, the intake manifold would blow up right on the car, man. It was a scary situation. I had it happen one time and uh, I'd prefer not to ever have it happen again. Look at this snake skin though. Look at this. Holy crap. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty big snake, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was a, we'll leave that under there for the next owner. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it doesn't run. It says it doesn't run. Look at that snake skin, though. Wow. I hope that snake is gone. <laughs> it's just a little on the concerning side there. Um, we'll check out the interior. I'm not so sure I'm interested in this car. <laughs> it looks pretty rough anyway, guys. Yeah, she's been sitting a long time. How it ended up as an insurance car, though, is beyond me. It's really not that bad. It does look a little rough, but it's not that bad. 176,000 miles on the odometer. It looks like it's got the keys. I'm half tempted to... I'm tempted to crank it, guys. Let me throw a jump on. I'm a sucker for these older GMs. I can't help it. As long as I don't get bit by whatever snake left that skin under there, I'll be fine. Well, you'll have to forgive me. The Pontiac there, uh, it didn't start. We couldn't get it started, and I ended up having to delete the footage because I had no audio. I lost about a half hour's time filming out here today because all of my footage had no audio after the Pontiac. So, it did not run. We did not get it cranked up. It had a large snake skin under the hood, and now we're moving on. So here we have a 1999 F-150 XLT hail damage with a brush guard slash bull guard. I think they call that a bull guard. It's got the, uh, what is this, a Super Crew? I, I think the Super Cab has full four doors. So this is like a Super Crew 4x4 off-road. Got some good looking tires. It's got the cap on the back. It's a good looking truck. You got some graphics. And a lot of hail damage, but it's also a long bed. Let's take a look inside. Oh, wow. Boy, this thing's been pretty well preserved. Look at the doors. They're in great shape. The dashboard, somebody had a cover over it, and it's in excellent shape. Except for all the sticky stuff. It even has power. Wow. Wow. This is a good looking truck. Let's see if we can scoot this seat back. It was a smoker's vehicle, but it smells good. That's the, it's got cigarette burn stains on the seat, or stains, cigarette burns on the seat, but it actually smells really good in here. 
Let's put the key in it. Let's see what it does. I'll bet this thing fires right out. Ow, I just got stabbed. It's got a CD changer hidden somewhere. It fires right up. Of course it does. Wow. What a nice old truck. It's got a lug nut. Oh, it's a key. It's the wheel key. That's nice. The wheel lock key is on there. Air conditioning? We'll find that out here in just a second. Radio? The radio works. 4x4. Four four. Let's kick it into 4 high. Um... There it is, right up there in the corner, four high. Four low, you gotta put it in neutral. Let's see if it does four low. I heard it click, yep, low range. And then back to two wheel drive. There we go. Miles, your guess is as good as mine, it doesn't show any. Air conditioning is ice cold, wow. The cup holders, look at that, it works with a little ashtray. What is this? Just a power port? A couple power ports. Very nice. This is a really nice truck. Hail damage or not, I could care less about the hail damage. Scoot this seat back just a little bit. Got power adjustable seat. This is this is a nice truck, man. Less important window. I know I'm doing it backwards today. Important window. Oh man. Yeah, all day. All day. Let's put it into gear. Don't know what the mileage is. Forward? Backward. Yeah? Okay. Um, I don't know what to say about this one. I like this. A quarter take of gas. Good oil pressure. Good voltage. It started without a jump start. 4x4 four four all seems to work. This, this, this could be a good truck, guys. Let's pop the hood. Let's see what she's working with. I'm sure it's a 5.4 two valve. What a clean old truck. Let's take a look in the bed too and see if we got anything, any goodies back here. Uh, there's your dash mat right there. That's good, I'd put that back on. And you got your uh, floor mats too. That's a nice cap. This is a really clean old truck. I'm, I'm interested in it just because I love old American vehicles. It's just my thing, man. I love old American vehicles. And I could care less about the hail damage. Yep, good old Triton 542 valve. Purring like a kitten. Hell, this is a great truck, guys. It may not be pretty, but this is a nice truck. I guarantee you it'd pull like nobody's business. It'd have no issue hauling. You got a receiver hitch back here. You got a seven pin. It's still got the spare tire. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if this is a one owner. It really wouldn't. The cap is a Lear cap. You got the rain guards on the windows. <laughs> this is awesome. What a throwback. I love this truck. I, I actually really want this one. Let me pull it up and let's see if it's going up for auction yet. Well, unfortunately, this one is not up for sale yet. Yeah, I've been sitting here just enjoying that air conditioning for a minute. It's really nice. This is a nice truck. Screw the hail damage. I don't care. I've got it on my watch list. When this thing goes up for auction, you can bet I'm going to be right there to bid on it. With cold air conditioning, working four-wheel drive, and a beautiful interior, I would drive this truck all day long. All day long. Comment below and tell me if you would drive it or if you'd be too embarrassed because of the hail damage. With that, I am going to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Drop your comments down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.